Now let's configure these routers to run uh, the eIger routing protocol. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure these for eIger. All right. Now we'll start with uh, router one up here. I'll click on the router, hit enter, enable, conf t to get to global config mode, router, eIGRP is the command, and then you have to give it the autonomous system number or the process ID number that you're going to associate with this instance of eIGRP. The reason is you could actually run multiple instances of eIGRP on a router. It's not recommended, but you can do it. Now, the number you're going to need to give here for the AS number, the autonomous system number, or the process ID number, whichever you want to call it, is a number between uh, 1 and 65,535, a 16-bit number. So we'll just say router eIGRP1. All right, and now we're in config router mode, and we can give the router the networks that it needs. Now, we're talking about router 1 here, and it has the first network 5.0, slash 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say network 192.168.5.0 and this is the different part from RIP and that is we can now add in our subnet mask but we don't put it in subnet mask form we put it in wildcard bits form and wildcard bits form is the opposite of the subnet mask. So with a slash 25, the subnet mask would be 255.255.255.128. But the opposite of that, the opposite of that would be 0.0.0.127. OK. So the wildcard bits is the opposite of the subnet mask. And a lot of people say what you want to do is, is whatever the subnet mask is, just subtract it and you'll get the wildcard bits. So for instance, I'm going to put this in first. So for instance, if you were to say up here, 255.255.255.128, Two five five, and then you subtracted from it the subnet mask two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot one twenty eight, and you subtracted these two, you would get zero dot zero dot zero dot one twenty seven. So that's essentially the method for coming up with your wildcard bits. So back to here, we now need to put in our other two networks. So I'm going to use up arrow, and I'm going to look to see what they are. This network right here is network 4, which is 192.168.5.224. So 192.168.5.224. And the wildcard bits, in this case, is 0.0.0. .0 well, why? This is normally a slash 30, which would be 255.255.255.252. And if you subtract these two, you get 0 .0 0.0.0.3. So that is the correct number. And, and I forgot the 5 here, so I got an error. There it is. OK, and now the next network, which is network 5, which is the 228 network, and it's going to be almost the same thing. So network 228, I give it the network number here, and then the wildcard bits. This is for a slash 30, 255.255.255.252. So the wildcard bits is the opposite. And just hit Enter. And now router EI group is ready to go. So I'll just hit end, and I'm done. Time to go to the next router. OK, you can see I uh, 
I put in here wildcard bits and then the subtraction and then how you'd get it. So let's go to the second router or R0, the second network, network 2, and let's configure that. So we'll go to this router and enable conf t, short for configure terminal, router EI group. And this is important, you have to give it the same AS number or process ID number so that it participates in the same autonomous system or the same process. So router EI group 1, and then I'm going to give it the network command. And this, whoops, got to spell network right. 192.168.5.128. This is the second network, the 128 network right here, slash 26, which would normally be 255.255.255. .255 .255 dot one nine two all right now the wildcard bits you just have to subtract to get it five minus two is three carry the one fifteen so that'll be a sixty three zero dot zero dot zero dot sixty three so bring that back up and that will be wildcard bits zero dot zero dot zero dot 63 and I put extra space in there 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 63 all right and now network 4 224 network which we just did on the other router 224 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3 okay and notice we just got a, a message I'll stop right here and point that out look at this as soon as I said the 224 to participate instantly we get a message right output to the router here IP EI group 1 neighbor 5.226 we just got an adjacency a neighbor relationship established between uh, R0 and R1. So that's pretty cool. So now network 6 is the 232 network. So that's easy. We'll just go up arrow and that's the 232 network. Same wildcard bits 0 .0 0.0.3 because that's slash 30. Hit enter and that's done. Okay now let's do the last router. Configure EI group on this last router. Uh, I'll finish this one though here. Say end. Okay, that one's done. And so for this last router, we're talking about network 3 here, 30 hosts. Network 3 is the 5.192 network slash 27. So open that up. Router EI group, process ID 1. Now I'm in router configuration mode. Network 192.168.5. This is the third network. Dot 192. Network 3. Okay, so dot 192. And this is a slash 27. And a slash 27 would normally be 255. 255.255.224 right why 128 plus 64 plus 32 is 224 and if you subtract that you're going to get 31 so 0 .0 0.0.0.31 is our wildcard bits so I'll go back into that 0.0.0.31 alright that looks good and now all I have to do is put in the other two networks so go network here and that's five dot the six network is 232 and that's three notice the adjacency instantly established and 
practically instantly. 228. All right. And then we get another neighbor relationship or adjacency established because EI group is now communicating with the other routers. All right, now that we have EI group configured on all the routers, let's take a look at the routing table. So we, they should have been sending packets and maintaining adjacencies. So we can go up here and hit enter. We'll just grab one of the routers, right? And do a show IP route. And you can see here that there should be six networks in here. And there is. You can see the 5.0. Here's the parent route. We talked about this in the last chapter. This is the parent route. And then here are the child routes. They are all subnetted, variable length subnets based on the parent or the classful 5.0 slash 24. So we've got the um, 5.0 slash 25. Notice the administrative distance is 90. Here's the metric, which is uh, 20,514,560, right? Um, next top address. Um, we've got the 128 network slash 26, the 192 network slash 27, and then the 224, 228, and 232 networks. 